Yeah, it's a very exciting region. I mean, obviously, Western Australia is um, very, very well endowed minerally, and uh, you know the exploration is mainly uh, focused uh, in the gold fields area uh, for gold, anyway. Uh, and uh, you know, the discovery of Julemar in the, in the wheat belt uh, has put some focus now on on what lies beneath the wheat fields in, in the southwest corner of WA. There's some real possibilities for some big discoveries, and Julemar proves that, I guess. Hello viewers, welcome to Assay TV. Today I'm joined by Doug Gruer, CEO of EMUNL, an Australian explorer searching for multiple commodities in Western Australia, including gold, nickel, copper and PGEs. Welcome, Doug. Oh, good morning, Peter. Nice to be with you. So um, please start by giving viewers some background to the company and your operations in Western Australia. Well, Peter, um, we are an explorer. We've done a lot of exploring globally uh, since our inception in around 2007. And in recent years, we've we spent uh, a number of years in uh, Chile, in South America, uh, looking for gold. And um, I guess at the at the start of the pandemic, we decided that we we sort of wound up our exploration there and we decided we would focus on our home base here in Western Australia. I guess we were one of the first explorers uh, that were blown in by the winds of the pandemic from overseas mm -hmm. and the idea that we would have issues traveling and all of those things. So we were able to pick up, uh, we already had one project here, but we were able to pick up another four uh, within 450, 500 kilometers of our office. So all within driving distance. And so set ourselves up well. Um, we acquired uh, the Badger project, uh, which is uh, a gold project to the to the north of our office in West Perth, and uh, a couple of projects in the wheat belt in the farm areas, uh, one in the southwest, which involves some forestry, and we already had the Menzies project in the gold fields. Okay, and these are all in the Murchison region of uh, Western Australia. What is it about that region that's uh, that attractive to you as an explorer? It's a very exciting region. I mean, obviously, Western Australia is um, very, very well endowed minerally. And, uh, you know, the ex exploration is mainly uh, focused uh, in the gold fields area uh, for gold anyway. Uh, and, uh, you know, the discovery of Julemar in the, in the wheat belt uh, has put some focus now on, on what lies beneath the wheat fields in, in the southwest corner of WA. Uh, so there is some greenstones. Uh, there is some prospectivity. Uh, the Boddington gold mine is just uh, just out of Perth, so you know there's some real there's some real possibilities for some big discoveries, and Julemar proves that, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, look, we we initially um, started our work, and we could start early work at Badger, uh, the Nows Nest historic mine up there, the gold mine we we acquired, it was pretty exciting because uh, there'd been some preliminary work done, and uh, we purchased it at a time that that we could focus our activities on that. And we've um, we spent quite a bit of time. I think we're up to a date. We've drilled over 28 kilometres of, of drilling, RC and Air Corps. Um, we've done geochem programs and geophysics programs, and we've defined a number of exciting uh, deposits, gold loads, and new areas, and extended the the, the historic uh, Nows Nest gold mine as well. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, let's talk about that um, uh, gold project, formerly Nows Nest, now obviously the Badger project. How did you uh, come to acquire the project? Uh, yeah, so when we were looking, we, did, we actually did a, um, a, we looked at about 70 projects globally before we actually sent it on WA, and uh, it, it actually came to us with some of our uh, shareholders who, who were doing some work with it, and uh, it was quite a surprise to find that, you know, amongst our, our supporters, we, we had a project that, that they were prepared to um, vend to us. So we took it on board, there was about 13,400 ounces uh, in, a, in a resource already defined, and it was a pretty exciting uh, gold project because uh, it was high grade and uh, had never been tested at depth or on strike. So it was um, quite tantalizing for us in that respect. And we could see the geology was clearly, was clearly lend its, loaned itself to some, some uh, interesting um, uh, areas of gold. And uh, that's what we've, we've discovered. I mean, we, our first discovery outside of the Nows Nest was Monte Cristo. Um, that's uh, that's still being developed on strike and depth, and just about a kilometre to the north of that, we we just recently um, have uh, intercepted what looks to be another lookalike. We hope uh, at Monte Cristo, and that's a, a prospect we're calling Flying Emu. Um, we're looking to go back and do some drilling into that that area as soon as we can, and um, we're pretty excited about what we might find uh, along that same structure. Yeah, just talking about Flying Emu. Obviously, the news came out at the beginning of June. Can you just give us a bit more detail about uh, what you're finding there? 
Yeah, so what what, what leads us to this is, uh, you know, obviously our vectors have come from uh, geochemistry and, uh, and the uh, aeromags, which show um, some really nice uh, um, structures there that, uh, and we're getting some jogs in the structure and we're able to, to um, give some vectors for drilling. We, um, we put a, um, an RC hole through an area there, it was also defined by old workings and that. So obviously the old timers had, had prospectivity on surface. And we're able to get some nice, uh, nice grade, but more than that, we're getting good intercepts. So I think we've got nine or 10 metre intercept of mineralisation. So that's the kind of thing we're looking for. And that gives us the opportunity for economic gold rather than it becoming just an academic exercise for, for high grade, narrow vine. Mm -hmm. And of course, gold isn't all you're looking for. Um, you've also got other projects, Viper, Sunfire and others. Uh, can you mm -hmm. just give us a bit of background on some of those? Yeah, sure. Just finishing off Badger, one of the interesting things we've discovered, Peter, is the uh, we've discovered tungsten there, which is a, quite a surprise to us, but very high grades of tungsten. And we, we've got quite a bit of work to do there now, just to define whether that, how coincident that is with the gold or whether it in itself um, may, may develop into a, another story for us. But yeah, look, the other projects are pretty exciting and, um, and they'll taste the drill bit in the next uh, few months, we hope. Uh, Gracelands in the wheat belt was a magnetic target with a gravity high. Did some geochem there with some auger drilling and got some kicks um, and some anomalism. And then we put a uh, fixed loop era, uh, fixed loop uh, uh, geophysics over that, and uh, we've identified five conductors, uh, re relatively shallow uh, and under granite. So it's undercover unit, blind. We call it a bullseye, um, but we'll be drilling that as soon as we can. We've got about two and a half thousand metres planned to be drilled there this year. Mm. Uh, and then the other project not far away from that is Viper, again, under wheat fields, uh, an old copper mine, a very rich, small copper mine. Um, but uh, we've discovered again through the same exploration processes, some, some nice conductors. And also, of course, the, the copper mine itself running at 10% 10, 10 copper um, is, is quite tantalising for us to, to test with the drill. So we'll be doing that again before Christmas, we hope. Okay, yeah, and just to elaborate on your, your plans for the rest of the year, uh, you mentioned some drilling. Uh, can you just give us a bit more uh, detail about what your uh, next milestones are for 2022? Yeah, so look, uh, we're, we're, we're hopeful to get a drill very, very soon up at Badger to, to drill out um, Flying Emu and, uh, and test some extension at Mow's Nest, we think. Um, but we've also got the drill ready for... Uh, the Graceland project with the five conductors there and the Viper project uh, down at um, Cherimunga. So we'll, we've got uh, RC drilling happening this year. We'll probably end up with about 5,000 metres uh, in that drill in those three drilling programs. Um, but more than that, we've got uh, geochem. Uh, we've got a soils program that we're going to be putting over Sunfire, which is our, our um, uh, nickel copper project in the southwest um, that overlays uh, forestry and uh, farmland. Um, highly prospective um, location is, is wonderful. It sits alongside uh, the Chalice Venture JV's Southwest Nickel Project, which is a Julemar lookalike. So we're on this, we're on some uh, echelon type structures. So um, we're hopeful that we can, um, and it's been tested. I mean, 50 years ago, there was a, some drill holes that went in and, and, and we've got mineral sulfides off those from 50 years ago. So we, we know we're in a very prospective area. So geochem over that area and uh, another fixed loop uh, magnetic uh, survey um, will be done by the end of the year as well. So we're gonna be pretty active, Peter, uh, 5,000 metres of drilling, uh, some geochemistry over Sunfire and, and some geophysics over Sunfire. And hopefully early into next year, we'll be drilling down at Sunfire, boots on the ground, uh, and um, uh, we will be amongst it then. A lot of activity uh, going on for the rest of the year. And so can you tell us how you're funding all this uh, exploration? So we go to the market usually uh, once a year or so, Peter, and uh, we get support from, from our regular shareholders and, and from our brokers. Um, you know, with, with five projects, it gives us a good spread. Uh, we've, all of those uh, have got um, the potential to deliver. So I, it's never been an issue for us to raise, raise the money. Um, we, I mean, obviously the market at the moment, uh, June, um, has been going through a pretty tough and turbulent time. So we pace ourselves on those things. And, um, you know, obviously the, at the moment, we'll, we'll try and batten down the hatches a little bit on, on our expenditures and just see what the market does. But um, yeah, we'll probably be going to the market this year for those programs. 
We've always been an active explorer, so we try and put every dollar we can uh, on the ground. Um, obviously, companies like us, we've got obviously corporate expenses, but we keep them to an absolute minimum. We're very blessed by the team we've got here. We've got some very senior geos that work with us that have been around and had discoveries to their names. Um, and a board as well as uh, a number of uh, very strong uh, uh, directors on the board who are founding, founding members and uh, founding um, uh, chairman and, and directors of, of, of some big discoveries. Uh, so we've got, the, we've got the management team to do it. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're moving forward with that. Okay. Well, Doug Brewer, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Cheers.